All right, next up, the Oregon Ducks taking on Stanford in this one. And, of course, Oregon, a massive favorite. Oh, we got to spend too much time on some of these big ones, but I'm just going to cover the big conferences is what I kind of feel like we're going to end up doing. So for uh, Oregon here, they opened around 26 and a half. It went up to 28 and a half. The early look ahead was 23, but I think that's before we saw what we might be dealing with here at this point with uh, with Stanford. I mean, you do have uh, Oregon. What a what, they're just looking pretty good. I mean, obviously right now, uh, Pac-10 is looking great, but uh, nobody wants to go up against the Ducks at this point. They do it on, uh, you know. Great offense right now. Unbelievable offense, really. It's almost unfair that uh, we bat in a bash in Colorado a little because uh, Oregon might be that might be that good offensively. So it's it, it was it's an easy target considering this wild roller coaster. Of course, how does Colorado fit into our conversation? We covered that team days ago, but it just so happens that Oregon right now, and I imagine they could end up getting this money here. How and I I don't know if Stanford's going to get much done. I think Oregon could, you know, put the hurt on them a little bit here. But pretty big line. I, you know, who really wants to go out there and lay four touchdowns? I'm gonna. I'm going to probably do it right here, right now on the show as my free play. And maybe I like the total here, actually. So, Jeremy, thank you very much. Nice to see you and Darren as well. Thanks, you guys, for coming in. Of course, we're going to be here on Saturdays and Sundays trying to alter the schedule a little bit, get you a little bit more game day. They want it as early as possible, but we know it's fun on the day of the game. You know, we've got our other cappers, too, and we've got great information. Let's take Oregon here in this one uh, against Stanford to roll them. I'm sure they can get it by four touchdowns here. That's what we're going to need, uh, no doubt about it. But uh, so far, Knicks, 14-1, to 1, touchdown to interceptions. Uh, remember, still, it goes back. Stanford's still 31-9, and nine against, or 9-31 and 31 against the spread in their last 40 games. It's been going bad for a few years now. And, uh, you know, they were able to get out of the, you know, find their way to a conference. Good for them. And we hope, you know, we hope it works out. Uh, but. They're getting outscored like nearly three to one over their last several games, dating back to last season right now. So you've got to think Oregon can name their score. Unfortunately, it's going to be close, I would imagine, right there at a four touchdown margin. Uh, what I do expect to happen with that total, let's see, it is 59 and a half. So it opened 56 and a half. It did touch as high as 62 and a half. Uh, I actually expect it to be probably well under this number here. Uh, did not get in the best of the number, so we'll see if I can get on it in premium. The steam definitely came in on the over, but the buyback has been pretty big. So maybe maybe the Sharps have seen it the way I am, that Oregon gets this blowout win and uh, Stanford does have a little bit of troubles. Maybe that's how Oregon gets the cover as Stanford ends up short of their team total here. In this one, I'm sure Oregon's going to be. I already know they're very popular at the uh, window and with cappers as well. I'm uh, I'm doing it too. I'm doing it for the Oregon here. I hope I don't know Blake. I mean, uh, they could on the road. I, I think it's uh, you know all right. Thanks, Creston. Now there's a lot of. Uh, a lot of shows out there like this. The one thing I try to at least do is get out here first on YouTube, at least with these uh, type of uh, talking head shows. We know the you know, networks are on or whatever, but uh, just get you out there and get some of the information out. Because there's some quarterback news, too, out here uh, today already breaking with a couple of teams. So, all right. So, Oregon for me. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably disagree there with – with uh, uh, Blake, just on the, I, I think Oregon rolls. I don't know if they put up a, a big time number here. I think they get it done, and they might even have a little defense here in this one.